first thing we're going to need to do is include some libraries. So include um, sd.h, and that's the secure digital uh, library. Then include include we want to include SPI. So SPI.h. So there are our libraries. We also need a reference to something called file, and we'll call that file file. So that's a reference to a file, uh, let's just say object, it's a bit easier to say that way. Setup, so we need to be able to use the serial console to find out what we're doing. So serial.begin, serial.begin, 115.200, which is what I usually use. And now let's say serial.println, um, well, initializing cards from that, initializing SD card dot 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 and then over here we want to attempt to begin to use the card or initialize it so we'll say if um, if not SD dot begin in other words we've tried to begin it but it's saying no then just do control and T there um, what do I want to do this SD test SD test so yeah, um, the pin that we selected before is, is 4 for chip select, so sd.begin, so if begin is returning false, then it's not working, it's failed. So we want to say, initialize sd failed, like that, let's just clear this rubbish away, so sd failed. What do you want to do now? Um, well, well, we need a return. So return. Otherwise, if it gets down here, then the, the initialization has worked. So initialization um, successful, I suppose. Initialization successful. Um, So at this point here, we now want to create a file. So let's say we're going to create a file. Creating file. Creating file. And now we want to get the file. So we've got file up there. So we're going to say what the file is now. So file equals sd.open. We're going to open a file. Now this is a bit weird, but I'll explain in a second. So the name of the file, we're going to call it, um, I don't know, test, testlog.txt. Yeah, so this is a bit weird because we want to create a file. So if we're creating a file, why are we using open? Isn't that a bit weird? Surely it should be sd.create or something like that. But no, I don't know. It's just the way it is. Anyway, here we're going to say file underscore write. And what this method, well, again, it's not a method, but what this function thing actually does is it opens a file in a way in which we can write to it but also what this thing does is if the file doesn't already exist it creates it for us so in other words at this stage the file is not going to exist so it says sd open file it doesn't exist so it makes it, it creates it if it does exist then it just opens it all right so at this point we need to close it so file dot close so basically we've opened it we've tested if it's there or not and if it's not there, then it creates it. So at this point, we can say the file's created. File created. And so far, so good. Now, if I was to flash this over to my Arduino, um, we would create the file. And if I was to take it out and put it in my computer, I'd be able to see the file. So maybe I should show you that now. Let's upload this. Make sure it's plugged in. Oh, it's not plugged in. Hang on a minute. Plug this in. So the Arduino is plugged in. Control and U to upload. And uh, oh, what's this now? I've got some sort of error. Let's just check my COM port. Yeah, there you go. Third attempt. And uh, hopefully this will work. Uploading. 
and get ready with Control Shift and M. Control Shift M. And what's it going to say? Initializing SD card. Initialization successful. Creating file. File created. So I'll take the card out now. I'll take it out of the Arduino. Put it into my computer and see what happens. I'm taking the card out. Put it into the adapter and into my PC. And I get a file. It's testlog.txt and it's empty. So far so good. I'll put the card back into the Arduino now. Right, the next thing we want to do is write to the file. So we'll do this in the loop section. So what do we need to do here? First let's get rid of that text there. We want to see if the file exists, which it will exist because we've just made it. But if there's some sort of problem, who knows? So let's just check. If SD dot exists and then the name of the file, then do something else do something else so the name of the file is this here so if the file exists then it exists so we want serial print loan otherwise it doesn't file exists file doesn't exist file exists file doesn't exist so if it exists what do we want to do well we want to write to it so file exists. Now this is a bit of a, a weird function, but um, oh, in fact, I've just missed something. Uh, so if file exists, then we want to set file to the file. So in other words, this bit here, we'll just copy this and paste it here. So if it exists, file equals sd open the file. So basically, if it exists, then open the file. So let's just put this over here. It makes a little bit more sense. So file equals the open file, ready for writing. And here we want to say file dot print learn. It's really that easy. And then wherever we want to write. So I'll write something like um I don't know. The time now is then plus um millis. And that should be lowercase. And in fact we might need to cast it as a string as well. Oops. I need to cast it as a string. Save that. So what are we doing now? We've got the file uh, in the loop. We've set the file to open the file in write mode. Then we're saying we're writing to it uh, the time now. And then we want to say file.close. File.close to close it off. Every time you use it you should close it after you've finished. And there's probably another thing as well there's an additional check to see if we can actually properly open it um, right and it's here so we want to say if if file that means basically are we allowed to um, manipulate the file so if file return if file is true then then we can write to it so let's add another one of these here file can be written to file can be written to else there's some sort of problem file can't be written to else file cannot file cannot be written to and there's some problem that we'd need to deal with at some point so um so here we should be writing to it another thing we'll need to do is uh, put a delay on here. If we don't put a delay on it, it'll just go crazy. So, delay 1000. In other words, write to it every second. Right, so if we just go through it again, it's going to create a file if it's not already there. Then, if it exists, then open it up or get a reference to it. Check if we're allowed to write to it or allowed to access it or whatever. If we can, then write a new line and it says the time now is and then whatever the amount of milliseconds is since the Arduino started. Then we want to close it and then we want to repeat after a second. So now I'm going to upload this. Um, my Arduino is plugged in. And then what I want to do is let it run for a few seconds. Then I want to take the SD card out, put it into my computer, 
look for the file, open the file, and it should have a load of a load of lines in saying the time now is blah blah blah. So I'll take the SD card out of the Arduino. It's been running for a few seconds. Then I'll put it into my converter. Plug it into the computer. And there's test log. So if I open it up now, yeah, there you go. Time now is whatever milliseconds, and it's roughly a hundred, uh, no, a thousand milliseconds apart. So that's perfect. So that's how you create a file. Well, that's how you wire up, create a file, and write to the file. So the next thing you might want to do is read from the file, or maybe you want to delete from the file. 